My people! Ah! In the White House, no she's on. Look at her. Eh uh huh. Eh huh. I want to thank my Nigerian brothers and Ibrahaki and I mean, it's a beautiful thing because um, I've seen this evolution over the years. Um, but this is definitely the moment. This is Diddy So we're about to take over, cover, 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 cover. Uh, my name is Chumang Wokike, also known as Houdini. I'm an artist, music producer, and an audio engineer. I'm from Anambra State, I'm from Oka, Umudioka to be exact. My family, I have a brother and a sister, two other siblings. My parents are still based in Nigeria. So it's a cool family of five. <laughs> My name is Isiwa, but most people call me Isi. I prefer Isiwa. I am 20 years old and I was born and raised in Nigeria, but I moved to California when I was 10 years old, going on 11. And then I did middle school there, and then I later on moved to Maryland and I did my high school years. Um, right now I live in New York City and I go to a university and I major in communications and a minor in journalism. Hi, my name is Oladara Ephraim and you can call me Dio. Most people know me as Dio. I worked as a reporter for about seven years with a brand called Heat TV, which I'm sure a lot of people know. And then I started to relocate to the U.S. And now I live in New York. I live and I work here as a travel consultant and a hospitality consultant as well. currently based in Clifton, New Jersey. Right now I'm working on a few projects of my own as an artist, but I also produce, record, and write songs for other artists. I'm the owner of Kitso Media, which houses Kitso Studios where other artists can come in, record, mix, and produce their own songs. We also offer those services. It's been a fun ride so far, and I'm looking forward to what the future holds for Kitso Studios. So I started interning at Quad within about six months of nonstop hard work and dedication. I was hired as a junior engineer at Quad. Eventually I moved up to becoming one of the house engineers at Quad. Quad has been around for over 30 years and it's recorded everything from Michael Jackson to Biggie, to Tupac, and even to this day to Beyonce and g Easy And one time at Quad, I remember I got to work with one of the legends, Ghostface Killer of Wu-Tang. It was really fun. Also got to work with Keisha Cole, Swedish House Mafia, g Easy. We, we got to do g Easy's whole record, his whole catalog. So it's been, it's been, it's been great, it's been fun. Now that's a mix. You know what I mean? That's a mix. You only get that at quad though. So typically I start my morning routine off. I started off with prayer. Prayer is a big part of me. I spent some time with the big man upstairs, God. 
After that, I usually move on to an hour on the piano and start on practicing my skills. After that, I move on to the guitar, a little bit of strumming, you know. I go back on the drums a little one, two, one, two, one, two. You know? So today I'm gonna head to the barber shop and chop it with my big homie, Easy. I've known Easy for a while. He's my hairstylist. And I go to Brooklyn like once a month. He always hooks me up. We get into some conversations, and I'm excited to see. We just chop it up, you know, hang out cool. Gonna get my dreads retwisted. And he's also very interested in Nigerian culture and African culture in general. So we just talk about our, some Afrocentric stuff. Yeah, should be cool. Yeah. I don't know if I want to really think about it. But yeah, everything's cool. What's up with you? Chilling, man. Just came up with. Uh, I had a session yesterday, it was pretty cool. I'm saying new client. Um, local client, he's, he's from, his name's Garson, he's from Lower Manhattan. So I had him at the, um, my personal studio. This wasn't at Quad, my personal studio. Oh, up, up in, you got a studio? I got a studio in Jersey. Basically, since the new word out here seems to be that Nigerians are the new cool, I think I actually know somebody who falls into that category. And that's my man Chuma. And what I appreciate is that he has a, you know, a love for the culture, a love for hip hop and a love for his craft of engineering. And that kind of gives him a what we call a, a, a decent or high hip hop IQ. Yo, you ever heard of um, you ever heard of Wonder Girl? Oh, yeah. Wonder Girl. She's she's young. She's very young. Yeah, she Nigerian. seems young. But she's Nigerian. Yeah, she's Nigerian. Dang. Yeah. Everybody's Nigerian. <laughs> right, right. Today, everybody's Nigerian. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what's up, right. though. So what I'm learning is that I'm mostly the Nigerians that I've come in contact with, they have a, a strict adherence or very clear adherence to academia and to education. You know, but people are getting STEM degrees, you know, science, technology, engineering, and math. And I'm coming in contact with a lot of Nigerians who either have them or are seeking them out. Yep. Now, Wale, same difference. I know Wale is dope and he makes he makes a lot of good music, but he's in a quiet taste and he makes music for us, for me, you know, certain mood and mode. Yep. All right, my brother, it's looking like we're pretty good from here. Sir. I'm Isiwa, but most people call me Isi, but I prefer Isiwa. I have six, well, five beautiful sisters, and I am the baby of the family. So yes, we are six girls, no boys, I know. But it is awesome because I have sisters to talk to and tell them about my boy problems, but they're always there for me. Yeah.